Today we'll see uh, in OpenBridge Modeler now we can model approach slab with sleeper slab. So we'll see it now. In the OpenBridge Modeler, uh, in the home button, we have approach slab here. So first thing is we need to do, there are three things. We can see place approach reference line. Then we have place approach slab and then we have place sleeper slab which is the support or if we need um, at at one end or so so let's go to the reference line so the reference line here we can see um, the reference line there are two one is the one is at the end or the other one is the start the end means if we want to give an approach slab on the end then we give select end here or otherwise we give start here so that will come up here so and then we have the skew angle we can give the skew angle there or just leave it whatever is there and then length is that um, basically basically weight uh, along the width of the bridge and then offset is we can give a fixed offset or we can uh, manually uh, place a location so let's say we have put a location we can put 15 meter and this is let's say start and let's say we put like 15 degree and then this is the support line so we just we can see here it says enter location that means it is everything is done so we just click left click and then enter line point so I just left click again it is done then once it is done I just do right click so the support reference support line is done the same way we can do on the other side as well if we like so we just need to change it to end and if we see zero degree we can say this and this here is done now we can select the approach slab so approach slab there is um, two ways one is we can say sync with deck so it will match whatever the deck is there it will match, match with the deck and the other one is the exactly as we did with the deck just we can select a template and then basically it will go into the deck template from there it can be you know like we as we did the deck the same things is here so as this is the same i want to the deck things here i'll just sync with the deck so if i do sync with the deck so whatever is the deck shape it will take and then we have the start offset end station offset and then the vertical offsets and those things here and so so data point to continue so and it is the location a start or end because we have uh, a start or end so if I we just need to select a start or end that's it so once it is done a start then data point to continue that means I don't need to select or anything it understand this is the reference line and then this is all the deck we want like sync with the deck so I just need to left click so you can see the approach slab is done here so if I want to do an approach slab at the end so what I need to do I just go there and then if I want to do the uh, sync with deck we just do the sync and then we can say end and then data point to continue so we just left click so this is the deck here uh, approach slab here now we want the sleeper 
um, sleeper slab. So what is the sleeper slab? Sleeper slab is something like that, a support at the this end here. So if you want that support here, it can be, I'll make it a little bigger. Yep. So, so placement of a start sleeper slab and placement of end sleeper slab. So obviously end sleeper slab will go in there. And start will go come here. So let's do the start one. And I can select from here template name. There are sleeper slab templates are here. There are the default templates. So like this is kind of L you can see. This is inverted T. And and this is rectangle. So we can make this as well in our utilities um, in the library um, as we like. But let's say we select the inverted T at this moment. So we select. And once this is select, and then there is the horizontal offset, longitudinal offsets, and those things. So um, I'll just leave this at this moment, just first continue with this and then, okay, this one I do, the last end one I do something else, let's say the L sleeper. And both of them done. And then we have the conform back wall with approach top um, that we can do, uh, conform with approach um approach bottom we'll do that I just leave this open so that we can see what is the difference all right so let's um data point to continue i just do data point to continue so we can do some quick check now what's been done so if we go closely here, we can see, um, I'll take out this. So we can see this is the inverted T support and this is the approach slab. So um, there are few things we can see. This is the skew here. So we can go into the properties and we can go here. And we can say confirm back wall and then just give me a sec. Apply skew to solid. So if you can say yes, true. So you can see the change. Now, another thing is um, this is the back wall of the sleeper slab. So you can see the top of the sleeper slab is aligned flush with the approach slab so if we go in there uh, for some reason if you want it not flush with the slab and you can make additional thin uh, concreting on top for some reason then you may say conform with um, conform back wall with approach top that you can make I think you can make false and then you can see the changes here. Another important thing is there are a few other things I think uh, you can do the if you go here then horizontal offset and longitudinal offset. So let's make it if I do here let's point three degree point three minute uh, meter so you can see i 
changed um, the horizontal offset is this way so the negative would be the other way I think uh, and also you can do longitudinal offset so 0.5 so we can see this is shifted on this side so for some reason yes from this reference line you can do the offset as well um, and let's put back as it was and also what we can do let's have a look regarding the slab so i'll make it a little bit zoom um, here if we go into slab we can do the um, offset here on the slab as well so let's say to point five you can see the slab is offset now from this end also um, there is for the end station as well um, end station is basically the other side so if you go here Point four. we can see this one is this side so negative now the other thing could be I will go to um, view and elevation so we can basically I will go in there so we can see the changes what I'll make a vertical change as an offset so you can see the change okay so the other option is we can do like we come here here I'll do actually here see if we go So we can see the start vertical offset and vertical offset. So we can so because the end is here, you cannot do any vertical offset here because it is it is like fixed. You selected the to match with the deck, but this end you can take it up or down as an offset, not as a slope. So it's basically the same thing. So you can come here and do do your calculation and then change it to let's say I make it minus 0.5 I, to do a little exaggeration I'll do like this so you can see this vertically went down All right so yes this is what we have uh, in the approach slab